with what we want in life. Me and Daniela just not making any progress, so I'm at a standstill. As of right now, CJ is definitely my biggest competitor, and I'm 100% going to sabotage him. I worry that you're not on the same page as what I'm looking for in terms of, like, a connection. You've done this already? Yes. You've won this already? I have. It just feels like, okay, he's doing it again, he's doing it again. It's time to blow everything up. Facts just don't add up. Plus, gruesome new details in the body parts murder investigation in Tarzana, what police found in the family's garage, and why they believe his missing wife and her parents are likely no longer alive. And the actor's strike ends with a historic agreement. What's in the new contract, and how quickly can Hollywood make a comeback? Now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. We begin with breaking news in Hyde Park, where police say a man was gunned down inside a marijuana dispensary. His killer is on the loose tonight. Gil Levis over the scene in Sky 5. Gil. Well, Crenshaw Boulevard right now, you guys, is closed down in both directions here at 66th Street. This is for the investigation, a homicide investigation at that marijuana dispensary. Let me zoom in and show you what's going on here. LAPD 77th Division officers got the call around 620 this evening of the shooting that happened inside the marijuana dispensary. When they arrived, officers found a security guard in his 20s that, with multiple gunshot wounds inside the business. Now, unfortunately, that man was pronounced dead at the scene, and police now are looking for the suspect, said to be a male Hispanic, uh, five foot nine inches tall, 175 pounds, wearing all black, and was accompanied by two other men. So at this point right now, the homicide team is on scene investigating this uh, fatal shooting here of that security guard as I come out to a wide shot you see the street still shut down and will likely be shut down for quite some time as they investigate this fatal shooting that's the latest overhead up in sky five I'll send it back to you in the studio all right Gil thank you the family of a local woman who disappeared on a trip to Guatemala is desperate for answers, saying they are, quote, living in hell, wondering what happened to her. Nancy Ng was last seen three weeks ago after going out on a kayak with a group of friends. Ten people went out on the excursion, but only nine returned, and Nancy was not one of them. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade live in the news center with the latest on this investigation. Mary Beth. Mike and Chair, what apparently started out as an innocent, fun day on Guatemala, on a Guatemalan lake, rather, somehow resulted in tragedy. A Monterey Park woman's family says that prosecutors' claims that she drowned just don't add up, and the silence from witnesses makes them even more skeptical. Nancy Ng's family says this is the last known video of the Monterey Park woman waving from a kayak while on a yoga retreat in Guatemala before vanishing back on October 19th. It's hard to watch. Um, you know, clearly she looks happy and excited to be out on the lake. Um, and I hope that's not the last time we'll see her. But it's hard to say because, again, there have been no primary witnesses that have spoken up to what they saw. Guatemalan prosecutors say the 29-year-old special needs teacher drowned while on a kayak excursion with her yoga group on Lake Adelon. Prosecutors reportedly say a woman who was kayaking with Nancy told them Nancy drowned when she decided to go swimming. We haven't gotten an update from the prosecutor's office as, as far as where they got that information. Um, what's curious to us is that we don't have that witness report in our police report. The family says no witnesses have spoken to them, nor did they talk to the owners of the kayak rental company the day Nancy allegedly drowned. The owners say eight of the ten in the group returned, but Nancy and another woman could be seen paddling out further into the lake. Eventually, that other woman returned but no sign of Nancy. The owners say the group then left without saying a word for the kayak excursion. No one in the group was interested in talking to anybody. It was almost like immediately clamming up. I just don't understand that part of leaving within eight hours of, you know, 12 hours of the accident. Meantime, the search for Nancy has come to a halt. The head of the private search